Um, I spent a lot of my time in high school and middle school um, being bullied. I had a lot of hate. I hated people, I hated school, I hated life. Just every part of myself I hated. When I was 18, I dropped out of school uh, my senior year. I felt like I could have a fresh start out there. Um, I got involved with a guy who was very, very abusive, physically, mentally, emotionally. I ended up getting pregnant. I actually told the guy I was with, like, hey, I'm pregnant, and he left me. Told me it wasn't his, I was a liar, I was a cheat. So I went back to my parents, and we did not get along. I felt like I was making everybody miserable by being there. So I took Dakota. We went back to the guy. I was very intent on if I bring my family back together, it will work, but I never changed anything. I didn't change myself. I didn't change who we were together. He pushed me down a flight of steps and I went to, I had to go to the hospital. Um, when I was at the hospital, the doctor told me I was pregnant and I remember laughing like, you're kidding. Like, I could barely keep my head above water with Dakota, who was only a year old. There was no way we were gonna make it or survive, but I ended up having Riley. Um, I couldn't stay there any longer. What it was doing to my kids, what it was doing to me, what it was doing to my relationships was just too much. I remember calling my mom and having my mom come pick the boys up. When he got home that day, I had told him we were leaving, and I said, the kids are already gone. I'm packing our stuff and we're leaving. I was constantly trying to pretend that I was a good mom, to pretend that I was a good person, when deep down I knew I wasn't. April 23rd, 2007, um, Riley passed away. Um, I remember being mad because the boys were fighting. They were arguing. Riley had thrown his macaroni and cheese on the floor, spilled his juice, was taking Dakota's cars, just really getting on each other's nerves. And I, I remember just picking him up because I was so mad at him. I picked him up, I carried him upstairs, I put him in the playpen and I told him, lay down, go to bed. That's the last thing I said to him. A couple hours later, sending my brother, like, hey, I'm gonna take Dakota outside. Why don't you go up and get Riley? Um, I remember barely stepping foot out the back door when I could hear my brother yelling for me. When he brought Riley down to me, um, his lips were blue. And when he put him in my arms, I remember all I could think about was don't take him. Take me instead. Like, please, God, don't take him. Um, I remember the funeral very vaguely. I remember spending a lot of my time being pretty angry at God. I felt like he took Riley from me and that wasn't fair. And I had somebody reach out to me and say, hey, uh, I go to this church, do you wanna come? And I remember saying, church is not for me. It's not my thing, but she would not drop it. Yeah, she actually showed up at my doorstep um, and said she wasn't gonna leave my doorstep until I got in the car with her. So I took Coda and we went. That night, the preacher was actually in the middle of his sermon, stopped and said, I really feel like somebody needs to hear this tonight. Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all ye who are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. And then he said, God isn't angry at you. He forgives you. He wants you to come home. And I just started crying. He did an altar call, and I actually went up, and I reconnected my faith. I spent a lot of time for the next couple of years just kind of figuring myself out, learning who I was. I started a step study through Celebrate Recovery. Through that step study, I learned to forgive myself, which was my biggest hangup. And um, I gave Riley back to God. I had been carrying around all this hurt and this guilt and this pain for 13 years to be able to give him back 
and let that go, the peace I felt after that was just, I couldn't even explain it. Thinking back on what my life was like before I had him, what my life was like while I had him, and what my life looks like now that he's gone. And to look back and see how much I've grown as a mom, as a person in my faith, just everything. I felt incredibly blessed to even have him in my life.